23 18 All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back, YouTubers, to another um, and Paws subwoofer yes opening. Yes, sir. We are back. We're gonna do a box opening. Death Bonds in the house. Yeah, what? what? Um, I just want to. I just something popped in my head. Um, somebody said something, a comment, and a whole bunch of people jumped on top of them. Oh, great! They had my back, and it, oh. not really having my back, but I mean, they had my back. Nice. About uh. Babies crying in my house and whatnot. I have two of my grandsons living in my house. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I didn't even uh, know that. I don't know if you guys control babies crying or you got <laughs> some kind of magical powers. We're or in one room. We're not in a separate room. Um, like we're not in a. We're all. It's just an open area, so you, the camera picks it up. It doesn't have a noise well, filtering yeah, mic. Like yeah, but I'm not going in a bedroom to. Sh no, I, I just don't want them to think like... Oh, yeah. No, that's yeah, what we're yeah. explaining. Yeah, we have plenty of room in the oh, house. Yeah, just yeah. Where we shoot in the house yeah. is the living area. area. Yeah. Um, so anyways, beyond that, I love my grandkids. If they cry, they cry. Yeah. That's what babies do. Um, so, Dak Bonds. Heck yeah. Back at it. <laughs> All right, so I this is looked our... at these speakers for a while. And you can grab that out the way. And, uh, bam. Right I ahead. know it, it, this is like the bottom line of the Def Bonds. I know it's a little small. and um, We're going to get into that, though. Um, let's see if you can see Ultimo. SC12. It's, yeah, SC12. It's one of the new Def Bond speakers. It's made by Ultimo. Mm. Um, read these right here. <laughs> 5.1 inch voice coil diameter, 600 watt W RMS, <laughs> and it's a single four ohm. And I didn't know Deathmont's made single fours. These are uh, actually, I was just going to say handcrafted, and it's handcrafted by Morel. Oh. Um, so it's, it's Morel. So, yes. Wow. Not wonder... Deathmont's. Uh, so they're <laughs> made in Israel. Wow. Uh, Israel? is real. Aluminum Hexitec voice coil. Wow. Uh, the diameter is ridiculous on this coil. Yeah, I don't know if I told you guys 5.1 inch, but I mean, it's it's like the yeah. voice coil is like that, literally. <laughs> it's as big as a, 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 a subwoofer. Now this, a 6 .5 this inch subwoofer, subwoofer, I think, is actually looking into it. It's supposed to be a home audio subwoofer. Um, you're not going to slam this in your car and, and hope it gets 140 dB. No offense. Um, but the the voice coil diameter is like the big whoa here, like and you, it's gonna what be is nice, this gonna do and what is this gonna take? Clean sound. Oh, a hundred percent. Nice clean sound. We're gonna put it on some nice clean amplifier, and we're gonna get it going. Yeah. Um, so guys, this actually is this has six screw holes instead of eight, so that's something different there. Oh, that too. Yeah. Um, less screws for us to put in. <laughs> you can see on the bottom here, it's uh. Wow. Hand tooled. Uh, voice coils down here. It's got Venting. a cover on the voice coil. There is, but it does have a vent. Um, let's see here. You want to hold that? I'll get the camera. I just want to show you guys the, the voice coil on that thing because that's what kind of got me. I looked at this thing. It's a very, very expensive speaker buying this new. So there's the voice coil. Here's my hand, just to give you guys a an idea how big that is. It's huge. Literally, I saw that and I was like, "Holy!" And moly. not only that, they made it blue, so it just I think it's actually stands the, out. This right here. Yeah, it is about that big. Yeah. 
and this is very mm -hmm. broken in guys but that's no worries. oh definitely yeah. easier for us yeah we don't have to Nothing pound crazy. away as much give it less power and it'll pound away I'm gonna pop it in a box right over there that should be perfect for it and uh, let's see I'll show you guys the there's the writing on there bottom of the speaker you guys couldn't see before all right um the spider there all right the uh i don't know what this seems to be some sort of carbon fiber yeah uh, carbon cone. fiberish cone rubber surround oh yeah rubber surround yep all right so we're gonna get this in a box guys i just gotta plug in the one before the one uh leads there so we'll be back guys stay tuned all right guys welcome back so we're here with the morel ultimo sc 12 inch subwoofer um so i just want to say uh when i got this subwoofer i i got it at a, a good value um it had a couple of small things you know that it wasn't in perfect condition i did clean it up a lot um the uh the basket right here, where the uh, mounting mounting uh, it was it kind of bent right here. You can actually, I don't know if you can even see it in the camera, but uh, this was bent right here, and it was actually bent so far down that when I uh, installed it, it had a huge gaps out of the side. So I took some pliers and I bent it back up. I got it pretty straight. But it still had uh, a little bit of air leak. So I went to Walmart and I got some, uh, I'm just going to show you here. I got foam weather strip seal. I got the 3 8 inch right here. It uh, seals on one, or it has like a sticky on one side. And uh, the other side, this actually had like a, a, a sealant already on it that was kind of pushed up into the thing. So someone must have, the person before must have had it sealed some in there somehow. So it actually sat right into the, into the basket. Uh, I put it down perfectly. You can only see one little spot right here where it's sticking out a teeny, teeny bit. But other than that, it's in there nice and firm. And I, I noticed a huge difference in power right away. Um, so let's see here. I'm gonna... I'm also gonna do a demo for Quake Powers, so stay tuned for that. It's one of his newest, uh, his newest songs. And it's actually... Oops. Hmm. It actually does pretty good on the dyno. So let's see here. I'm gonna land on all these. Okay, back up here. There we go. Let's see where we're at here. I don't even know where we're at. Too much. It's sure flexing nice. Guys, want to see anything else about the subwoofer? She drop it down in the comments. Um, we're gonna have the fourth giveaway coming soon, guys. So if you want to voice your opinion on what you think the fourth free subwoofer should be, drop your comment down below. Again, I'm feeding all these 
good, clean power. Uh, we're running on a Stetsam EX. 2000 Black Edition. Uh, with the Stetsam Infinite Black as a power supply. single four ohm subwoofer so really I mean if you think about it it's not doing half that bad running right around four ohm it's really good I mean it does go up a little bit higher but that's called impedance rise all right I'm just gonna pause this real quick I just had deja vu guys I just had deja vu that was crazy all right so I'm gonna that a little bit more again. Back up here. She's now, she, she's now uh, take the over. All right. I mean, I probably wouldn't have it. Dino mode. Are we paused? Oh. <laughs> Must have paused it. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on. That's the only thing about this. I'm using my phone phone right now instead of my, I usually use an alternate phone, which is more like a tablet than a phone. And I get like a, a thousand notifications a day. Let's see how this thing's moving here. Oh, it's pushing some air. Out of here for as much as it's moving. Sounds really good too. Really nice clean sound. Look at that flex, huh? It looks so so clean and clear. It's moving a ton of air too. For as, as little as it's moving. Wow. It's moving a ton of air for real. I got a message. Oh. Uh, Dino shut off. Oh, I know. He told me. I'll tell you. Alright, we're gonna back it up here because I thought my I thought my thing was on, and it wasn't. It shut off on me. All right, so let's try that again. Let's see here. All right. I want to see as low as we can. And then we're gonna do a Quake Powers test. He sent me a new video, and actually this one does pretty good on power-wise. A lot of times I don't get like good power out of regular songs or made songs but this one I actually get pretty good power look at how that thing moves right here look at it like the difference right there just the difference it's weird What do we got? 1,269 watts. We'll take it. All right, so we're gonna try Quake Powers now. What are you doing? There we go. I don't know why I have commercials here. Um, I do I past this? Look at that thing. I love that face. Right, let's back this up. He's like, um... Whoa! Okay, try that again. 
getting to power first. Now I'll give it a little bit more. Wow. Alright, I'm going to put it on dyno mode. Dyno mode. So it's a chemical. I see what we're getting for here. Right. Wow. That thing's really hammering. Wow, 300 watts? There you have it. All right, guys. So, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smells like oil over here. Take care of yourselves and each other, guys. I think he's smelling at his car still. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.